Hello everyone, this is Carol here today and I have a project share and tutorial for you today. I wanted to share these, I call them milk carton three drawer boxes. I'm not sure what their official name is, but that's what I will call it so that you can reference back to this. And I have done several different types today. I'll give you a couple different ways to close them and some diff different decorating ideas. So I'll start with this one first so that I can show you the, the inside. So this is a little gingerbread paper that had uh, matching stickers. And what I did was I put the sticker on foam and then cut it out and popped it up on here so it would give some dimension. This is a Tim Holtz poinsettia die that I will link my tutorial in the description box below. And then I just made a bow with a My Creative Time bow die and put it on a clothespin. And you open it up like this so you have room on the inside to put some goodies. And then you have three drawers on the side, as you can see here, that open up. Every one of them opens up. There's three. And then I did not decorate the backs on the Christmas ones, just the front side. And then the side is decorated like that. Here is another Christmas one that I did with the Prima sugar cookie paper. And then I used Dollar Tree Bling, which you can find right now at your local Dollar Tree. This greenery, well, this... <laughs> These little greenery things are uh, Tim Holtz die. And then I put some pearls uh, for the drawer pull, just so you can get an idea on that. And then I made these ones that are for birthday, every day, thinking of you gifts, or uh, if you use Easter paper, you could give them as gifts with candy in them and just use Easter decorations. And these are how this looks. This rose is a die from my stash. And I did do a rosette with the Brenda Walton rosette die. And you can see I decorated the front and the back on these. The difference is I used ribbon to tie the top closed. And I just punched some holes in there to put the ribbon through. And the holes are at one and three quarter and two and a quarter. In case you're wanting to do that when you make yours. This is a little different one. And you could make these masculine. Just don't put flowers on them. And use a more masculine paper. Got this one here. Some of these papers are really old, so I'm not going to tell you where, where, what they're from because they are old papers I'm trying to use up. You can see that. And then this paper, though, is from Joann's. I know you recognize it. And you get all different kinds of looks depending on what paper you use and the color, colors of uh, decorations and things like that. So let's get started with the tutorial. So for this right here, we're going to use this one as reference. The gold leaves that I used are a Spellbinders die, and it's the Spellbinders layered poinsettia. And the Tim Holtz die does not come with a leaf die, and this one is too big for this particular poinsettia. So I just used... The one on the back that is, uh, I think it says, the three and two and a quarter. That's the one you want to use. So it's number three, the two and a quarter. for your, And you only have to die cut one for your leaves. And then the, the greenery here, again, is the Tim Holtz winter greenery die. I did not bring that here, but... That's what that is. I will have all the dies uh, linked below. Then for the bow, I used this uh, My Creative Time die, and it is the one right here. It says the small stitched, and it's MCD 
D54, right there. MCT D54. Sorry about that. And then this is the Nicole Silhouette die that creates this box. I'm going to turn this down now so you can see better. And don't be intimidated by all the pieces because I'm going to explain them to you. So we're going to go with the biggest one first, which is this. All right, so to create the base of your box, like you see here, the base, this one is made in craft. This one was made with eight and a half by 11 craft paper from Michaels, and you will need four sheets to complete one box. That's almost four sheets, a little less than four sheets. And this one has uh, cardstock in the back that's 12 by 12. You will need about one and a half to two pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock. So this is your drawer. You're going to want to cut three of these. All right. This is the drawer holder. So you're going to want to cut three of these. This is the side piece die. And what I'm talking about is what covers here, from here to the, the top, okay? This right here, okay? So you need to cut two of these, and this is all with your base pieces. Then you're going to need to cut this piece right here, this triangle, and you're going to cut two with this and that is all that you need for your base the next pieces are going to be your designer paper and the designer paper is about plan on doing one sheet of 12 by 12 you'll have plenty of leftover if you do just the basics but if you're going to line your drawers, you're going to use an entire sheet of 12 by 12. So next I'm going to pull out the three rectangles and explain to you what to cut on here. So you have three sizes of rectangles. The largest one is the inside of the top here, the, the floor to this box right here. So you cut one, cut one of those. And then the next two largest, the next two sizes, your largest one is the inside of the drawer. So cut three of this one. And then the last one is the bottom of the box, which is right here. You only need to cut one, okay? Then you're going to cut, you're going to have, as you can see here, you have two rectangles in different sizes. All right, so the largest rectangle is this piece right here. So you will need to cut one, two, three. So you'll cut three of those. And then your next rectangle is on the top. So you'll cut one here and one here. And if you want to, you'll cut one for each of the inside panels if you want to uh, put paper on those. So you'll want to cut four. All right, then you have a triangle and you will need to cut two of designer paper to go here and here and now you have these pieces right here so we're going to do these these are cut two for the top part of your box right here and if you want to cover the inside cut two more that's up to you I did not and then you have these which are to decorate your Okay, your, your drawers right here. And 
I didn't do this, but for uh, tutorial purposes, I'll show you how I decorated inside the drawers. So you will need to cut nine of these. So you have three, so you just, you know, put them in your die cutting machine three times. You will cut nine of those to decorate inside your drawer. And then this piece right here, which is on the outside, you're going to cut six of these to do three in the front and then three on the inside. And that's it. That's pretty simple once you figure that out. I know it's intimidating when you get all those dies. So let's move my pieces into view so you can see what I'm doing. I did put a couple drawers together, so not to bore you to do three drawers all at once. So we're going to go ahead and complete a drawer. So this is the inside of the drawer piece. You'll know because it has this little finger hole right here and we're going to fold on all the score lines. And Nicole Silhouette dies are very well thought out. Everything is very square. I love her dies. All right, so there are two score lines on each side, as you can see right here. And then you have the tabs, and you're just going to bend these tabs in because that's where you're going to put your glue. All right, and I use Art Institute glue because it has a good grab to it. It grabs quickly. All right, so I'm going to put some glue on that tab and make sure you line it up nice and straight. And then hold it for a couple seconds while it takes. And then go on to your next tab. And you can see all the score lines really well so that you can line this up. Take your time to line it up because you want everything nice and square. That's what makes your projects look professional is when you have everything lined up. Looks good. And then one more tab. All right, and now we're going to glue all these pieces to the inside, which reinforced your, your box, make it sturdy. I usually fold mine out a little bit so I can do this correctly. Use your bone folder to make that glue grab. And you don't need a lot of glue for that, just to hold it down. got our box together Oops. and I'm going to show you how to do the inside of the drawer if that's the direction you want to go so the piece I write what my designer pieces go to so it's easier when I'm putting things together I don't have to to guess what I have so I'm going to put some glue on the back of this and then lay it inside the drawer. And 
And then I'm going to take these pieces and line the drawer as well. Now in my, my boxes, I didn't do this. I didn't feel it was necessary, but I'm just showing you. If you use a paper that is not heavy card stock, you would want to do this to give some uh, have you know a heaviness to the the drawer so it doesn't collapse. It'll give it a nice thickness. So you see, I'm just lining the inside of this. And of course, depending on what you put, so you're going to use this one with the little finger hole on this side of the drawer. So depending on what you're putting inside your box as well, these little drawers, you might want to decorate them. And I got one more piece for the inside. And then we're going to make the drawer holder. Okay. And making sure that I have a good stick for my glue. And then we're gonna put this aside while we make the drawer holder, which is this piece right here. And you're going to fold on the score line. So I'm gonna start with these two score lines in the middle. Get a good crease. And then do the sides. All right, and then we're gonna fold these tabs in and we're going to start gluing. So the short goes into the tall. So I do this step first, just do the little tabs first. Hold it for a second, make sure it's lined up good. And then this side. The paper I am using is uh, some Michaels paper for this right here, this particular drawer. All right, and then I'm going to do these small sections. take my bone folder and go inside and press to get a good grab on the paper and do this side. And getting it smoothed down. Make sure everything is square. So that is the drawer holder. So I'm going to make sure you have your paper going all in the same direction. So what I've got is this side that I've glued down going towards the bottom. And then I'm going to put my drawer inside and I have completed three drawers. So you're gonna to wanna to do this to all three pieces. Now you're going to want to glue them together. So we're going to do that now. On the tops. And I'm just going to put this on top of here. I want to make sure I've got it square. That looks good and I'm going to do the top piece. Then I'm going to put the third drawer on the top and making sure that that is square as well. Everything nice and square. Okay, now I'm going to put the sides on right here. 
So I need to fold on the score lines. So we're going to turn it to the back side and fold up this little piece on both of these. Okay. And then your, your box goes like this. So we're going to fold it down one. Fold it down. And then your box goes like this. Fold this to the back. So you have this shape right here. So I'm going to fold this one to the back. All right, so I have that shape. So we're going to attach these to the sides of the box. So we're only going to put glue on the bottom here and right here to grab onto the sides like that. Okay. piece down here make sure I got glue on that so then you're going to turn your box over and place that lip up against the bottom as such and then bring it up to the front and you have one side on now and we're going to do the other side Oops. <laughs> Just checking to see if I was in frame and well, I missed it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to attach this side to here and we're going to bring it right against the bottom. Make sure it's square and up. So now we have those two sides on. While that's drying, we're going to make the pieces that go in here. So here are these pieces. You're going to fold, turn it to the back side and fold from the front up. Get your crease. That would be the front side where you can see the stitching really well. Back side. Oop. Fold that up. Okay, so this is like a milk carton, so you're going to fold these in, both sides, and then the next score line, you're gonna fold backwards. Backwards. And then these are your glue tabs, you're gonna fold those over. So it's being stubborn okay so you have it like this okay because these are going to glue on the side of your box got that we're going to do it again <laughs> all right so that's a one on the bottom fold it to the back okay this is your triangle right here so you're going to fold that and fold that so you have a triangle then you're going to on the next score line which is right here you're gonna fold up, fold up. And now you have your two glue tabs. You're gonna to fold to the back. Fold to the back. All right, so you have that right there, okay? Now we're gonna take these and insert them in our box. So here is my box and then I'm going to Take these back so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and on this tab right here on the bottom, we're going to place our glue. All right, and then we're going to come to the very edge and place this down as such. All right. 
And then I like to take my bone folder and just make sure I have the glue grabbed on there, okay? Now you can see it forming into place. These are the tabs, so we're going to put glue on this side. And then we're going to bring this end up and make sure you have it squared off and attach it to there. And I need to use my bone folder to get that grabbed on there. There we go. You can see it's attached. All right, we'll go into the other side, place some glue on this side, and bring this up and attach. Now you can see. <laughs> All right, and when you close this, you see that it holds itself down. All right. And I got a drawer that's popped out. Here we go. We're going to put this one on the other side. I'm going to go place it inside here, right up to the edge. go and then take my bone folder go inside and give it a smudge so it stays all right then we're going to go in here and glue these it's a little hard to show this on camera but you're going to glue those onto there and I'm going to use my bone folder to smush that down there so that I get a good stick. And one more side and then we can start decorating. And we look good to go. All right. So I'm going to clip my and it upside down my little clothespin on here. And if this doesn't seem to be working right away, just fold it the other way and then come back and fold it out. And it should be fine. So I'm going to fold it in and then fold it back out. And then now I have a good closure. All right, now we're going to start decorating this. So we're going to need our pieces. Okay, so let me see if I wrote on the back of these. <laughs> All right, so I have the smaller pieces. I didn't write on these, but it's all right. I should have four of these, which is the smallest rectangle. So those are going to go on the top of here. So we're gonna attach those. So I have two for the outside of the box and two for the inside on the top. So my next tutorial is going to be on that loaded envelope box that you saw the other day. I'm going to work on that after I'm 
complete this tutorial. So there's the outside, and then I have two more pieces that I can put on the inside, which I did not do in my boxes because my paper was plenty heavy enough for the construction of this box. But the more paper you attach, the stronger your box becomes. So we're going to put that in here. All right, and I've got one more for this side. And I do not use sticky tape because in Georgia with our humidity, all that stuff doesn't stick for me. So I have to use glue and that's why it's going to take a little while for this tutorial. Okay, so while I got this open, I want to take uh, the largest rectangle that I have and I already put inside top. So I'm going to glue this in the bottom while I have it open. I know I've mentioned the tape thing in Georgia before with the humidity. I'm sure it's the same thing with Florida. Let me see here. Here we go. And that just fits perfect in there. You know you've got your box together well if that fits in there easy. Okay, so now we're going to do around the bottom with the three rectangles, the larger rectangles that we cut. So you can see I cut them all in a row because that matches. <laughs> I like that when that happens. <laughs> so when I was looking to see that I got the correct one. And then if you want to, you could use these, uh, the plain ones that did not have the finger cut out for the back here, but I wanted it uh, look all the same. So I used, that's why I cut that. It's up to you how you want to decorate your box. One more, and then we're going to do the bottom. And then I have my bottom piece. You can see I labeled it. Okay, and then we have the side pieces, the rectangles right here. And it looks like I have to train my rectangles a little bit more. This one's working good. The other one I have to train a little bit more. That's why it's popping out. And that I'll show you that again in case this happens to you. Okay. It goes there. And see how this is popping out? I want to fix that. So I'm going to push it in that way and then bring it back out and it'll help when I get these tops on too 
These You have two of these that go here. If you wanted to decorate the inside, you would have four. So you would put two here and then two on the outside, but I only did for the outside. That's up to you. And you will have enough paper to do the those two more of these and you'll have just enough just enough paper to complete that all right and one more and then we have to do the drawer fronts so there's a lot of pieces for the designer paper on this but it does look beautiful okay i'm gonna put my pulse pin on there and now we're going to put these on Two more. And for this box, I am going to put a little decoration on the drawer. On my Christmas ones, I did put little decorations on the drawer and I have these little gold half balls that come in a container from Michaels so I'm going to attach these on here they can be drawer pulls And one more. Now we're going to decorate the drawer, the box, I mean. And I pulled out this uh, jewel border stickers that are currently at the Dollar Tree in gold. Because I wanted to use gold accents on this. Not the rhinestone silver. And we're going to put this on the bottom of the box. So we're going to start on this side. to take this off from here. Oh, dead. yep. Okay. And you see I have one. I'll go to the next one. And the reason I'm cutting off is because going around those corners with the rhinestones makes them pop off. So if I cut this off, they are adhered better. And this is the last, last of it. And I'm going to take it off right there. All right, so we have that on the bottom of this. And on this side, I'm going to put on this side some of the 
Tim Holtz poinsettia right here. Let me. So I'm going to glue these on first. And I'm using hot glue for this. And I kind of glue them all the way down to the box because I don't want them to break off when my recipient gets this. If you just did the glue on the top here, this would probably break off at some point. And then I'm going to put another one right next to it. Down a little lower. And you don't need a lot of hot glue, just a little bit to get it down. I'm going to do it right there. All right, and then I'm going to take this, put hot glue on the back of it. Hot glue gun is a little slow today. And I'm going to put that right in the center. And I'm going to take this piece right here, which is the Spellbinders poinsettia die, and I'm going to just cut off two leaves, and then I'm going to fold it in the center, and we're going to put two on this side. So I put glue on the top and the bottom so it gets a good stick behind this flower and then I'm going to cut two more off of this and we're going to use all of it it's too pretty to, to get rid of it <laughs> just use all of it we're going to go to the other side in the back place that Okay, and then this one piece, we're going to use it on the bottom. And we're going to place it right here. All right, and see how pretty that is? And we're going to turn it around, and just for giggles, we're going to put this piece here. And that's what I did for the Christmas ones, just put a, a little green leaf on the back, just to give it a little point of interest. And I'm gonna swoop it a little bit. And that is it. Your milk carton drawer box is complete. Thank you so much everyone for joining me today. I hope you found this tutorial at least, uh, if not interesting, at least helpful. And again, I will be working on the loaded envelope box that you saw recently on one of my videos and I'll be back with that soon and so until next time everyone happy crafting